How's it going? I'm Steve with Marine Depot Direct, and today we're going to talk about the different grades of stainless steel. At Marine Depot Direct, we offer two, technically three different grades of stainless steel, 304 and 316, and we'll get into that third one later, because you'll find out why. So let's start off with 304. Uh, grade 304 stainless steel is really strong, highly corrosion resistant. It's used in a lot of common things that you're going to find uh, just in your own daily use. Uh, things like fasteners, pipes, uh, heat exchangers, um, commercial food processing equipment, and that's just the name of a few of them. Uh, it is really high in its corrosion resistance, even in marine environments like salt water. Uh, now that's contrary to popular belief, which says that, you know, oh, if you're going to be in salt water, you need 316, which isn't always the case. If it's continually exposed, then yeah, maybe go for 316. But 304 is going to give you high level of corrosion resistance and you're going to want to, you know, just treat that, you know, wash it down with fresh water after salt water use, things like that. So 304 is considered to be a non-magnetic metal. Now, some steel has different uh, alloys and things that are put into it when it's actually being forged and everything like that. And that can give it a little bit of magnetism. But with 304, even if there is a little bit of magnetism to it, it's still so lightly magnetic as to be considered a non-magnetic material. So it's perfectly safe to use for all those kind of things. And you can test that with a magnet. All right, let's talk 316 stainless steel. 316 stainless steel is also known as marine grade stainless steel uh, because it is more corrosion resistant than 304. It's gonna be the most common thing that you're gonna see on boats in saltwater environments that are continually exposed, like cleats, uh, anchors, anchor rollers sometimes, uh, things like that. So if it's an item that can be removed from the boat, you're fine to use 304 with that because you're gonna wanna bring that in, wash that off with fresh water um, when you're done and you've, uh, you've docked anyway. But things that are you know continuously exposed, that's where you are gonna want to, uh, to upgrade to 316, if possible. So common uses for 316 stainless steel, other than the obvious marine uses, <laughs> are gonna be things like heat exchangers, um, chemical processing equipment, um, even photographic equipment, pharmaceutical things, um, like hypodermic needles are typically gonna be 316. Um, just everything that needs to be extremely hard, rigid, and corrosion resistant. So one of the silly things that people think when they buy 316 stainless steel or just think about 316 in general is that it's completely non-magnetic. That's wrong. That is straight up wrong. Uh, when 316 stainless steel is cast, it can use a different formula of metals and alloys inside it and that's going to make it pretty highly magnetic. It's going to carry all of the corrosion resistance, all of the uses, and it's actually going to be even higher uh, on its corrosion resistance than formed 316. Cast 316 is also called CF8M, and that's the third type that I was mentioning up, up at the top of the video. So if you're looking for something that's completely non-magnetic, Cast 316 is probably not the best way to go. Cast 316 stainless steel carries in it a pretty decent amount of ferrite, which is what's going to give it that more magnetic property. Now, being cast 316, the CF8M, having that amount of ferrite in it, there is a little bit of a chemical difference between that and formed 316. Uh, it actually does have a little bit more of a susceptibility to impact at um, certain temperature ranges. So we highly recommend not using it below negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit or above 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, 
which I hope shouldn't be a problem because the human body doesn't do too well at those temperatures either, so probably don't vote in them. I don't know how you could, but those are the temperatures. All right, now here's some myths that need debunking. One, stainless steel is not magnetic and can never be magnetic. We've already talked about that. It absolutely can be magnetic. That's done and done, let's move on. Two, stainless steel will never rust. Stainless steel can and does rust, especially in any kind of saltwater environment, anything that's chlorinated, those can absolutely stain it. They can get it to rust. Uh, it'll run, it'll have that like orange, that like orangey red runoff uh, on your boat that you might see if you don't wash it and care for it properly. Uh, so we always recommend after use, just wash it down with fresh water and polish it up every once in a while. We like flits and we sell that. The link's in the description. So the term stainless steel is actually not the best description. The US military actually came up with a better term for it, which is much more apt and much more fitting. Um, CRES or corrosion resistant stainless steel or corrosion resistant steel, um, because obviously it does corrode, but it resists it at a higher likelihood than other metals and other types of steel. Three, stainless steel is hard to clean. I'm not sure how this one got started because the name itself implies that it's easy to clean and it is. Uh, it's used widely in medical applications um, just for the reason that it can be cleaned very easily. Uh, that's why we sell Flitz Polish. You don't need that exactly, but um, you know, a good polish, you know, a good cleaning and care that can really extend the life of the stainless and even bring it back when it looks disgusting. So which one should you pick? Now I've kind of gone over this a little bit uh, here and there, but really it depends on your environment and your usage. If you're gonna be in a saltwater environment, then absolutely you can upgrade to 316 where you can. If you're gonna be in freshwater, 304 is gonna serve you just fine. Uh, if you're in a saltwater environment and it's a piece that you can bring in, you can go with 304 with that too. Just wash it off and care for it. A lot of dive door ladders that are commonly used, you know, diving and snorkeling in saltwater reefs and things like that, you might only find those in 304. They're removable, so that's the reason. You're meant to bring them in, wash them down, uh, and they'll have a nice, healthy, long life. So those are some of the facts on stainless steel, the different grades of it, the ones that we carry. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, absolutely feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for checking out that video. Click over here to see what YouTube thinks that you should be watching next and click over here to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss another video.